Единственное фактически здание в Москве, где э, квартиры не продаются, не покупаются, не сдаются, а, да и с трудом передаются по наследству, но передаются. Ну, вот тянет именно сюда. Это то, что греет фактически душу, и опять же то, что как бы заставляет как бы, здесь быть и жить. Поскольку каждый раз, даже когда возвращаешься домой, просто ты смотришь и понимаешь, что ты живешь в замке, ты идешь в замок. Long ago, people were equal and lived in peace and brotherhood. They had rulers, a new breed of kings who wanted to build the palaces of their dreams to remind the people there was an ultimate power and a brighter future. This time was called socialism. These palaces were a great technological challenge and a timeless achievement, symbols of a technical progress and collective labor. They were the most grandiose enterprises in a time when the collective good was the major state policy. Millions of cubic meters of marble and wood, tons of crystal, steel and bronze, hundreds of square meters of carpet and thousands of lights and mirrors were manufactured to make the palaces so unique and extraordinary. Each one is the tallest, the largest. All of these buildings were as if from another world, like spaceships waiting to take their visitors into a new dimension. Now that socialism is over, it's time to go back to the palaces and reveal their hidden secrets. <laughs> 